All right, in this video, we're going to do a, a, a bit of a character research using the tool that we're actually going to use. And we're going to go to it now so that the, the, the students can already identify. Um, we're going to just use one character in this exemplar. Now, if you chose to bring in a, a good guy and a bad guy, you could do that as a teacher. Uh, my goal is to kind of show you the outline of what I'm trying to do uh, and get you to understand the tool. So the tool that we're going to use is called Mixamo. So it belongs to Adobe and it's also free. And that's kind of always important, right? Because uh, getting access to these really expensive tools uh, are, and this already includes several models and includes animations. Now we're not going to use the animations much in our concept art, but it's really cool to, uh, to do that. So let's go here and we're going to go and do uh, uh, Mixamo. Uh, and when you get there, log in. And again, you should be able to use, in our case, in our school board, we are allowed to use Google accounts. So uh, we use that. And that's why I use this tool so students don't have to go and create an account. So then I just log in with my Google account. And you're going to see that once you log in to Mixamo, well, you can already see one of the characters that I went and found uh, for us. Uh, but I'll show you where those are. So at the top here, there's animations and there's characters. So we want to obviously click on characters. Now, I picked this character because it's the only one that has a bow that I know of. Let's see if I look down. So part of the reason why we're doing this now in the planning process is because it might define our... Uh, so Erica the archer with bow and arrow. So does anybody else have a bow and arrow? Well, there's four pages. Now I could try. Let's just try bow. See what comes up. Maybe somebody else has a bow. No, only uh, this character does. So maybe absolutely everybody wants this character. And so what we're going to do is we're also going to teach the students how to use the screen grab tool, which is really an important tool. And um, how am I moving around on this? Well, there's these tools here where you can just click on it and move around. Uh, and I right click on the mouse button. If I click on this button, right click, allow, uh, sorry, left click allows me to look at the, all the different angles. And in 3D modeling, models that are created by the uh, artist are always created in a T pose. So this is brought into the video game this way. And this allows the game designer to know that this model does not currently have any animations programmed to it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you guys how to program the animations later. Uh, but uh, what I want you to do now is once you found, let's say, let's pretend you want a good guy and maybe this is your bad guy. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it with this character. Uh, I want to bring uh, her into my uh, my my. Uh, a research document that I have here on character research. Okay, so I'm just going to include a couple images of her uh, from a few different angles. And I'm going to use, I'm using Google Chrome and I like awesome page screenshot. So if you just type that in, awesome page screenshot, uh, you're going to be able to basically take some screenshots that you're going to be able to use. So I'm going to just do that and I will go uh, capture, which is what I want. And I just visible part. So um, actually, we'll go back a step. I don't want that. I want to select just the archer. So if I go over here and I will capture selected area, and all I want is this. Okay. So then I'll click capture. Now, as a teacher, you could choose to have a, you know them name the character, type it in Robin Hood if you want. Uh, you know, screen grabbing is a very important tool for students. Uh, I'm going to say I'm done. And usually what I do is I just download it to the desktop. And I really like uh, Google Chrome because, well, it also allows me to decide where do you want to download it. But often you can, it, you see it down here. So then when I click over here, I just click and drag it. And there's my Robin Hood character. Now, you may want to uh, have them describe the character a little bit. So tell me about your character. Who is Robin Hood? Okay, maybe the, in my case, maybe we're going to watch a movie on Robin Hood. Uh, I wouldn't do that in a technology class, but maybe you're researching history and you would like to include that. 
Um, and maybe I really think this is important that students don't just create stuff without having uh, re enriched experiences like researching Robin Hood. Was he real? You know, whoops, control Z. If ever you make a mistake on a PC, it's control Z. Uh, on a Mac, it's command Z to go back. Who was Robin Hood? Was he real? Uh, you know, those type of rich questions. So they, their characters are, you know, are based on how will we change his story if you were doing more than just a concept art. Um, I'll leave that there. I think that's good enough to get a pretty good sense of where we want to go. And as a teacher, you could easily customize uh, how you would like to continue adding this. Now, just so you know, we will go back, come back to Mixamo later. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.